Kashmir is beautiful. Any note on Kashmir begins with this line and why not? The beauty of Kashmir has been acknowledged by nature lovers all across the world. सुना था कि कश्मीर जन्नत है तो वाकई में कश्मीर जन्नत है कश्मीर में अगर बर्फ नहीं होगी तो हमारा गुजरान कुछ भी नहीं होगा क्यों पानी की हमें कमी हो जाएगी और एक चीज की हमें कमी हो जाएगी बर्फ इतनी पड़ती थी कि कहीं किसी वक्त पांच फुट किसी वक्त सात फुट और आठ फुट से लेकर दस फुट तक बर्फ पड़ती थी फल फूल था सेव के तरह थे उनको बहुत बड़ा नुकसान हुआ Better climate means better health and better health signifies better life. The Indian Himalayan region is one of the most vulnerable mountain systems in the world. Being a mountainous region, we are most susceptible to climate change and global warming. Jammu and Kashmir is the third most vulnerable to climate change in India. Only a naturally balanced climate can rescue us from the trouble we are in. Any further imbalance will make it irreparably dangerous. We are seeing some of the winters we have seen in the last one decade, they were snowless, snowless like lands. And or they were very harsh. So some year it is very harsh, some year it is almost dry. So this unpredictability in the weather, this unpredictability in the climate is basically an indicator of the climate change. This indicates that this is climate change. यहाँ पर कश्मीर में बर्फ होनी चाहिए जरूर होनी चाहिए क्यों अगर ये नहीं होगी फिर हमारा गुजरान नहीं होता है बट देर इज अर साइड टू द स्नो टू समाइम्स अवी एंड प्रीमेचोर स्नो फॉल कॉज इज अ लॉट ऑफ डैमेज टू चिनाज एंड एपल ट्रीज दैट इज रियली चैलेंजिंग फॉर दोज हुर एसोसिएटेड विद द फ्रूट बिजनेस इस साल बहुत बड़ा नुकसान हुआ पहली बर्फ आने से पत्तों पर जब बर्फ आई धोखा मिल गया हाउ डू क्लाइमेटोलॉजिस्ट सी प्रीमेचोर स्नोफॉल एज अ सीजनल फिनोमिन स्नोफॉल इन फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ नवंबर इज रियली अनप्रेसिडेंटेड एंड इट इंडिकेट्स वन ऑफ द क्लाइमेट एक्सट्रीम्स सो वी वी कांट बेसिकली गेट रिड ऑफ द क्लाइमेट चेंज क्लाइमेट चेंज इज देयर only what we can do is either we can mitigate it reduce it in magnitude or the best thing is that we ado adopt it so the climate change adaptation is the best way to mitigate or to reduce the impacts of the climate change on livelihoods on farming community on orchardists climate change is a global phenomenon the arctic ice is melting fast and the sea level is gradually rising the experts portray a very scary scene of the future with the rise in sea level many countries surrounded by sea may completely disappear even many coastal areas may go under water maybe the cause cause of fossil fuel burning or overall some kind of deforestation is also taking place and then more uh, pollution so obviously the carbon build up in that atmosphere has gone up it has gone more than 410 ppm climate change impacts other spheres of life causing floods droughts and other such natural catastrophes temperature is constantly rising and that's a big cause of worry melting of glaciers will cause water shortages in many parts of the world melting glaciers narrate a very sad story if you look at the glaciers of the jammu kashmir and ladakh you know as i said they are uh, receding they are shrinking at a relatively high rate as compared to the glaciers in other parts of the country now if you look at the i will tell you the 
the Kolhe Glacier, which is the largest glacier in the Kashmir Valley in the Jhelum Basin, is every year on an average melting 20 meters. And if you look at the shrinking in terms of depth, so it is almost, it is losing mass almost one meter. 90 centimeters, 92 centimeters every year. Where will the solutions come from? How can the problem be addressed? First locally, then globally. Developed country is not a place where the poor have cars. It's where the rich use public transportation as 60 people are adjusted in a bus as compared to five in a car. Charity begins at home, so we should start by looking at how much carbon footprint we produce individually, trying to reduce reuse of refrigerators, ACs, and using public commute as much as we can. If we really want a healthier planet, we will have to mend our ways. We have to be smarter. Kashmir fortunately had a vast green area, but we have destroyed a major part of it. Our valley was green, but we have destroyed that greenery and we have to restore that charm if we and our generations are to survive. This climate change is an existential threat to the humanity. And this is the reason, in fact, that triggers many other disasters and catastrophes that we see quite often across the globe. How to deal with these disasters and this problem, climate change, is something that we have been thinking about globally, nationally and of course locally as well. But under the G20 Presidency of India, U20 provides an important platform and University of Kashmir has been chosen to be one of the institutions uh, to host this Y20 to engage youth and deliberate upon this thematic area that deals directly with the uh, human existence. It is the climate change, disaster risk reduction and making sustainability a way of life. If you look at the larger picture, the larger theme of this G20 that uh, one earth, one family and one future, this so vividly sums up the philosophy of what we call as Vasudev Kutubakam. And I believe having the perspective of youth particularly in the global policy formulations to deal with these existential threats of climate change and disasters would be so pertinent. And I personally would encourage all our bright young minds nationally and globally, of course, to engage with us, to become active participants in these deliberations and uh, ensure that their perspectives and concerns are taken to the G20 policy platform and ultimately they become part of the uh, policy document that comes up uh, at the end of the uh, G20 uh, major summit that uh, will be hosted. Uh, in India. As teenage activist Greta Thunberg said, our house is on fire, we know what we have to do to put it out. There is such a thing as moving too slowly. The problem is not just local, it's global. But we have to start from home and take the mission ahead to save our planet. The climate change is not a myth, it's a fact that stares us in the face alongside creating new employment avenues for the people at present we have to think about our future as well sooner we take steps better that will be for us and for our posterity <laughs>